Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. I'm on a, a paddock here. I wanted to show you. Uh, this was a paddock that, under the old ownership, it was continuously grazed for, gosh, probably close to 50 years. And uh, this is all dirt. All this was just dirt, dirt banks. It was eroded. And uh, matter of fact, back in the day, they used to farm this. This was this was corn, corn and beans. Can you imagine? Well, they had a head cut here, and they never did anything with it. And it got deeper and deeper. And anyway, it's uh, the sides are healed over now, and it does drain a large area. There's probably I don't know. 10 acres or so up above this cut right here but i wanted to show you we haven't had any rain to speak of and this has been this way now for about a month and uh we started getting those rains in october didn't get any in august september um, yeah so august september we didn't get any rains in october i get it right i wanted to show you this water look how clear that water and you notice the vegetation, it's right down to the edge of the, not stuff in that water, I got a hole in my boot. Um, there's actually clover going on that little island right there. That's crazy. Look at this. I've got one little cut right there that's not healed. And uh, I'm gonna put a square bale on that. I'm gonna pack in a bunch of hay in there, maybe even half a big round bale. And what's doing that is the bulls. They like to rub their head on a bear bank, but I'm gonna put some hay on that and put a wire around it. Let them stomp it in real good first and poop and pee on it. Look at this stream. This is always dry and now it's holding water. There's a little bit of water. It's slowly easing through the aquifer underneath this ground here. And it's feeding this stream. It's feeding it. It's not drying up anymore. There's water in here. Which I think is pretty cool. Instead of all just running off, it's catching it. But folks, um, people talk about you know trees holding stream banks together. And they do. They help. But forage good dense stand of sod there's cows in here right now now see they're only going to be on this for a half a day there's 320 head in here they're only going to be on it for half a day and they've been on here probably let's see i'm thinking back probably around six times this year they've been through this farm I have to go back and look at my grazing records, but I believe it's around six times. And uh, look at that water. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I wouldn't be afraid to let them drink that. It's clear. That's clear water. It goes all the way down this creek, all the way to the big creek over there. So do cattle uh, destroy riparian areas? They can, if you leave them in there. Let's see, we've got a poly wire up right here. This will be their paddock tonight. We'll come in here and roll that one up. And uh, so this is the AM move. This will be the PM move over here. And on each one of these paddocks, 320 head, they've got about five to six acres See, this is 12 acre pad. Yeah, six acres in each paddock for half a day. But boy, oh boy, there is some really high quality grass in here. Of course, you got the fescue. There's some beautiful orchard grass. And then see if they can't take a bite without getting some clover. Getting some clover in every bite they take. Mmm. That's what you call balance, folks. A really nice balance. But I promise you I'd bring you up uh, to date on this paddock that uh, 
I, I showed a video here this last week of uh, where we stuck the posts in the ground and we measured the regrowth in 30 days. And so they, they, they were on this paddock above us on uh, October 3rd, or I was, maybe it was the 4th. And we came back to it, it was around 35 days later. I want to show you what they did to it. <clears throat> now that they were on this patty, we had it split in two. And uh, because the boys and I were deer hunting over the weekend, we had it split into two pieces. We just rolled the wire up and gave it to them as one. So nobody would have to come over here. We could stay on our deer stands. You got to be uh, flexible, folks. Even when you go into uh, fall deer hunting. And I know the wind's terrible. But I'm using my phone. That's all I ever use. I don't use any anything else. I'm not here doing chores. I'm going to shoot a video. So if the wind's too much, turn the volume down. If it bothers you. But here, so this is what we left. Folks, there's, there's still there's still a lot of forage in there. Look at all that. See, they're going to be locked out of here today. They can't come back over here. And uh, this will get... Well, we're going to be back here probably... Well, in June, probably January. Yeah, into December, around January. All this will be rained on, snowed on, cold weathered on. It's going to be fresh. It's going to be fresh. So, I'm going to have some really high quality forage here again. We'll get one more pass off of this, this winter, along with unrolling some hay bales. There's a lot of feed left in here. And the reason there is, there was a ton of regrowth on it from tip grazing in October. We just tip grazed it. And we got some rain. That really helped. Go over here. Give you more of an average. Didn't want to just show you one spot. Here we go. So this is the other ridge. This was not, uh, this farm hasn't been brush hogged, or this patak, this particular paddock hasn't been brush hogged for two years. Next year we probably ought to get it because of these guys. There's one, there's a honey locust. And I, you know, I did tell them, here's another one up there. There's three, four, five, six I can see right here. So. I wouldn't have to brush hog the whole paddock. I'd just come over here and run over those. Cause I did, I did tell, tell the landowner, if you let me grow some honey locusts, I'll keep control of the rest of them. And so he's letting me grow honey locusts for shade. But I promised him I wouldn't let his farm become taken over with honey locust trees. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Ah. There's a dang buck up there tracking a doe. My gun's in the truck. Guys, I gotta end this video. I'm gonna take off and get up there. My gun. Maybe I can get over there and get, get in front of him. Y'all take care. See ya, bye.